Hey, good afternoon. This is Mr. Marlowe. We are going to do a quick lesson on trapezoids and triangles, finding the area and the perimeter. Um, I'm going to try to do another uh, video on where the area formulas come from, but right now uh, we're just going to accept the area formulas for what they are and use them and talk about how we find the perimeter area. We're gonna do one trapezoid because for the most part, you know, this is kind of what I call the classic trapezoid and we are gonna do these two uh, triangles um, just because they are a little bit different. But anyway, you will perhaps recall or not that the area of a triangle is the base times the height but then you had to divide that by two because the base times the height will always give you the area of a parallelogram, which we do have one on the screen over here, but like I said, that's for a different lesson. But this base times height gives you the area of one of these shapes where the opposite sides are parallel and equal. So the triangle, it takes two of them to give you a parallelogram of base times height, so you have to divide by two. And the trapezoid is also a divide by two thing. The area of a trapezoid, but you gotta do some addition here. Okay, and times the H and divide by two. And the two bases, in a trapezoid there's only the two parallel sides. You can see that these two sides would eventually meet up here somewhere. So they are not parallel, but these two are. And these are your two bases that you add together. And then you multiply the height and then divide by two because once again, this plus this times the height gives you a, an area of a parallelogram that's twice as big as this. So you have to divide by two. But again, we'll, we'll show you where those formulas come from, maybe in a different video. The key to all of this is the base and the height. And the base and the height are always revealed by a 90 degree angle. And since I'm, we're not making you use a protractor or anything like that, you look for the right angle symbol. So here's our formulas, and we will begin and start with this one. Okay, we're going to start with the perimeter though. Now there's different ways to find perimeter for certain shapes, but I feel like if it is not a curved shape, the safest, and Mr. Ronald, I'm always big on, let's not make a careless mistake, let's play it safe. The safest thing to do is to add all of the sides, and remember, perimeter is the outside of the shape. And uh, let's go ahead and do it right underneath, and right here. So here's what I do, say okay. The shape I'm trying to find the perimeter of is this shaded region right here. So if I start right here and go across like this, that's seven. And then remember, I only want the perimeter. See this line right here? That's inside, that's not part of the perimeter. So I come up this line right here, that's another 4.45. Come across this, that's three. And then down this side, I would have gotten all the way around the perimeter and that's another 4.45. All I gotta do is add that up, and I could do it in my head, but I'm afraid I'd make a mistake. So seven plus 4.45, plus that three, plus another 4.45, and that's 18.9 millimeters. And that's it. All I did was I traced the outline of the shaded region, and for every line I traced, I wrote down the number, piece of the cake, play it safe. So now, let's talk about that area. Okay, again, to find the area of any of these shapes, you've gotta have the base and the height. And you get that by finding the 90 degree angle. The 90 degree angle reveals the base and the height. The base is always one of the sides of the shape, and the height can be, but it just has to form a 90 degree angle with one side, and it has to go 
to the opposite side. So right here, that line, whoops. Well, anyway, just try to outline it. <laughs> okay, so here's my base, here's my height. But remember, this is a trapezoid. In the trapezoid, you have to add the parallel sides. There are the two bases. We call them base one and base two, showing that there's two of them and they're different from each other. All right, so I need to add these two numbers together. Seven plus three. Once again, this reveals my, one of my bases. The opposite side is going to be the other base. The height is going to be that piece of the 90 degree angle that connects the two bases. So times four and then divide by two. Here you got to be careful. We got it set up. That is the right formula. Base one, base two times the height. Our 90 degree angle gives us the height, the base, and that gives us the opposite base. Okay? You got to be careful and make sure that you get an answer to seven plus three before you multiply. Remember the order of operations. If you just, with certain calculators, if you just did seven plus three times four divided by two, Without the parentheses, they do three times four for you. But fortunately, I'm aware of that. So the first thing I do is seven plus three, which is 10. I multiply that by four. That gives me 40. And then divide it by two, I get my final answer of 20, and that's millimeters squared. So again, first of all, area is always the unit squared. Perimeter is just a distance, so it's just the unit. To get the perimeter, I like to play it safe and make sure I just literally write down all the sides and add them up. And remember, perimeter is the outside. That means this four, which is on the inside, is not part of the perimeter. The 90 degree angle always reveals your base and the height. The height does not have to be one of the sides, so this is the height. This is the base, and since it's a trapezoid, I need the opposite side as base two, seven plus three. And then you just have to be careful, make sure you get an equal there. Make sure you get the 10 before you start multiplying. All right, so that takes care of that one. All right, don't want this to be too long a video, so let's take a look at the two triangles. Try to do those quickly. That one's gonna be real easy. All right. The perimeter, once again, is just the distance around. So I start here, all right, 12. Come up here, because this is that edge of it, plus that's 12.43. And then right here, that's the other side. See, that's the whole boundary of the shaded region. So plus four, okay, and that should be 28.43, and that's meters, okay? I am in a hurry, but let's just make sure I didn't mess this up. And I got 28.43, so there we go. Now remember, the area formula, I just tucked that in my pocket. The area formula is that base times height thing divided by two. All right, well once again, your key to finding the area is the 90 degree angle sign. The nice thing about a triangle is I don't care which one's the base and which one's the height. In the trapezoid here, it mattered because we had to add, and if we thought this was the base, that would have messed us up. But all we're doing is multiplying. So with a triangle, it doesn't matter which one's which, okay? And in this case, it just so happens that either one, because they're both sides of the shape. The base just has to be the side of the shape, and it has to form a 90. And you'll notice that this goes from the one side to the opposite peak. So I just put in the 12 times 4, divide that by 2, and I get 24. It was in meters, so it's meters squared. So that is the kind of triangle where the height is one of the sides of the base of the triangle as well as the base.
Let's take a look at this one really quickly and uh, probably close out the video here. This you got to be a little careful about, but once again, remember, it's the shaded region that I want the perimeter of. All right? So when I start, I just say the perimeter equals, and this is one of the boundaries. So that's 20 plus. Here's another one. 33.33. And here is the third side of the shaded region. But Mr. Marlowe, what about this? All this looks like a triangle. It's the shaded region we want. So 19.33. Okay, and again, I don't want to make any mistakes. 20 plus 33.33. .33. Plus 19.33, and I get 72.66, and I was measuring in yards, so there you go. Again, be careful, remember it's that shaded thing. This 19, I mean, excuse me, this 17 is not part of the shadery, this isn't shaded, so this isn't part of your perimeter. So there's your perimeter. You just, like I said, I like to just go around and trace it when I'm able to write on the paper. Okay. And now our final thing is to do the area. And again, you will recall that we said that the area is equal to the base times the height divided by 2. And what was the key? There's no 90 degree angles here. Sometimes they'll do this. They will extend one of the sides of the shape out, especially when you have one of these obtuse angles where it opens up real big here. They'll just kick this line out. This is still the base. You can see, here's my 90 degree angle. What line is making it? An extension of the 20. So this is the base, and here is the height. Now this time, even though it doesn't matter, this has to be the height. In that other triangle, we could have chosen either or, but this one is not one of the sides. It has to be the height. It forms a 90 degree angle with one of the sides that's been extended, and that's okay. So that makes this the base and this the height. And you'll notice that it goes from an extension of the base up to the opposite peak, okay? Not up to here, up to here. So base times height. Now in the calculation, it doesn't matter which one is which because 17 times 20 and 20 times 17 are the same thing. But here's the base times the height. Formula says to divide by two because base times height gives us two of these, divide it by two, and your answer is 170. And we were working in yards, so it's yards squared. Okay, that was a quick lesson in using the area formula for trapezoids and triangles. Um, we did discuss how to find the perimeter, but that's just addition. I hope this was a little helpful, especially for my class. It may not be as helpful to somebody else who stumbles on this video, but hopefully it shows my class you know, reminder, and just to sum it up, I know it's longer than I wanted it to be, but I want to just drive home the point that the area, it's critical to find the base and the height. you got to have it, but it's always triggered. The key is to find that 90 degree angle. Wonderful. But anyway, we were done. I can still show you the 90, and we'll just pretend that that is not there. I appreciate it. I hope it was helpful.